At first glance, they may just look like a stray dog, but deep down there are lots of differences between coyotes and our canine companions. These wild animals live in both rural and urban spaces, so a spotting can happen just about anytime, anywhere. In fact, where I'm walking now along the Beltline in Toronto's Midtown neighborhood is where I last spotted a coyote in the city. And those sightings can be more frequent in the fall. That's because it's coyote dispersal season. Coyotes mate for life and raise their cubs together. Mating season takes place in January and February, then den season starts in March. The packs raise their cubs throughout the summer, then finally in the fall. Once we get towards October, uh, beginning of November, those coyotes are old enough to start striking out on their own and finding their own territory. Coyotes are typically shy animals that avoid humans, but because these young animals are on the move, it can be a more dangerous time for both. Coyotes are not born knowing how to coexist with humans. They might be curious about humans, they might be wary, they might not exactly know what's the best way to avoid uh, encounters with humans. Here are some tips to help keep you safe during your next coyote encounter. The most important thing to do is to try and scare the coyote. The best way to do this is to Put your hands over your head, make yourself look big, and yell at the coyote. This is teaching that coyote that coming near a human is not a good idea. Learning to coexist with wildlife is the key to avoiding conflict. Knowing what to do will help keep you, your pets, and Canada's coyote population safe.